I just wanted to get your perspective on, as we all know, um, as one of the scholars have said, that future is already here, it's not evenly distributed. So as we think about the advent of generative AI, what are the arms or possibilities or what are the different areas of innovation that you think in your you know, opinion from the Microsoft lens? In the space of what I would call as large language models or deep learning or large scale deep learning, there's a lot of excitement obviously happening. The way we are seeing it, it should touch almost all facets of human interaction wherever humans interact with machines. I think you use this phrase, right? The future is here, but not evenly distributed. Actually, one of the things that we are observing in this particular time is that it is getting more evenly distributed than any time in the past. Some of the statistics are like, if you look at the advent of television, the number of years it took to get to say 100 million users or that time shrunk to for mobile phones to much, much smaller period of time, right? Internet was similar, right? But still over multiple years. If you look at, for example, ChatGPT, right? It reached 100 million users in, I think, like three months. And probably internet is part of that, that puzzle. But I feel like the technology is so powerful, social media and through other access mechanisms, the whole world is kind of connected in such a strong way that some of these generative AI and large language model applications are actually happening and the deployment is happening at a much faster scale and, and enormity as well than any time in the past. Microsoft is doing some really cool work that applies across lots of different areas, education, healthcare, numerous other areas. For business leaders, where do you see some of the really like applicable applications? I mean, as I was saying, it should touch almost every facet. Uh, we definitely have a big push across this co-pilot platform that we have been driving. And the way to think about co-pilot is that this is an AI assistant, and this name was also chosen with a lot of thought inside it, that this is not an assistant or an application. It is almost there to help you be more productive. So if you are in, say, a Word application, and you are trying to create content or read content, what are the ways in which it can the copilot can help you? If you are in Windows, what you are trying to do certain tasks, what should the copilot do to help you be more productive, right? That's the angle or the thought process through which we are coming. And I feel like if obviously there are all, the, the common ones, like for example, customer service, help desk, education, there are different gamuts where things will get accelerated. But I think the way the technology is coming in what is available today and where the technology is actually going, it is going to touch various facets, almost all facets where humans interact with machines to a certain extent. I, I think it, it will be far more pervasive and that's why some people have been talking about that it's almost at the same scale as the advent of the internet to a certain extent. I kind of like align more to that, that, that viewpoint.